Salutations, sports fans, and welcome back to Smash and Grab TV, home of Blood Bowl. We're on round four, match three of the Royal Rumble, and there's still everything to play for. Today's titanic tourney is one that I've been dreading, as my chaotic team, the Dogs of War, faced Robin Bloodaxe's scary skaven, the Rat Street Kids. Who am I? I'm Double D, of course. And joining me here in the commentator's box is my old sparring partner, Tol Mandry the Damned. Now, Tol, you know how badly I fared against these guys in our inter-season exhibition match. Now, I know it's too late for me to do anything about it now, but what would your advice be against these speedy freaks? Well, Skaven is tricky. I mean, yeah, good morning to you as well, Double D. Um, yeah, Hello. what do you do about Skaven? I mean, those those gut runners, they can just run circles around you. They'll get the mm. ball and suddenly they've scored before you've blinked. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're not easy to play. They never are. The only thing is, they have weak armour. My own personal favourite is to nuke them and just maybe keep a couple of players back to stop them from scoring. OK, good call. Well, let's see if Albard Hafto, my, uh, my coach on the side, takes your advice. Well, whether he sort of uh, goes with your general view or whether he's got something different up his sleeve. Well, I so, say your, your stadium matching court's looking fantastic today. Look at the crowds that have turned up for this match. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? And I, I'm very much excited about the idea of counting my money at the end of the day. But uh, I bet you are. <laughs> obviously, winnings would be better than just gate money. But let's let's see how it goes. Now, of course, uh, you do have the Astro Granite and Skaven. They like to sprint. Let's hope mm. that goes really badly for them. Wait yeah, minute, I shouldn't yeah. be supporting the, supporting your team. No, come on, Skaven, <laughs> take him down. Yeah, it has to be said. The, uh, the the choice of the Astro Granite was specifically with this opponent in mind. Um, I, I believe Robin Bloodaxe has got a uh, a gutter runner that can run a full ten squares. Um, Ooh, I can't remember nice. if that's with. I think that's without even the uh, the going for it. So I very much want to sort of make it scary for him at pushing it. Okay, I quite, the ball. A, quite a few uh, mutations on your team now. Yes, yes, I've been I've been slowly but surely mutating them up. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we have got a three-armed Chaos Warrior. We have got a three-armed uh, Beast Man. Uh, now that Chaos Warrior, he has two heads as well as three arms? Oh, yes, two heads. Of course, he's got two heads. Yes, yes. Nice. <laughs> now, yeah, he's that's going to be help a very useful talking. player for you. Oh, this is quite a useful start. To your oh, no, Wild Animal. That's often the last happens. thing you need. Often happens. He's just getting excited, you know. They started off before the whistle blew, shouting it into into each other's faces, and he just doesn't realise that the whistle's blown. <laughs> he's still he's still roaring away, getting all enthusiastic with the crowd. And, yeah. yeah. Hey, do you know? I think I just spotted your your favourite star player in the crowd, Willow, watching you. Oh, really? Taking notes, I suppose, and chuckling to himself. Yeah. God, Working much. out how he's going to take down your Minotaur again three times in a row. Oh, yeah, well, we'll, we'll have to, <laughs> if you say so, we'll have to see uh, whether the same team comes back for our developmental challenge next season, or whether uh, whether the coach decides some different team to develop. Yeah, now so Throg, I, Throg has been talking to me, and he's he's actually quite keen to to do a second season with me. Um, okay, it, it could be interesting, although we do have the politics issue, so I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got oh. a blitz from the rat over here. Oh, it's only a push, okay. but of course they do have Frenzy. Yes. Oh, oh shit. it's taking you down. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you spotted, the ball has actually been collected by my player at the back there. He's obviously reconsidering whether he wants to be on that side of the pitch or not. Well, with uh, quite a lot there, would you want to? Well, quite, yeah, quite a lot of the Skaven are there. I have got some players in the middle of the pitch still that could help form a handy cage, so he could potentially be dodging around that way. Now, of course, the uh, problem you have with the Skaven, it doesn't matter if you then decide to move sides. Before you know what's happened, they've also moved sides. It's so not yeah. like you're playing Kemri or another slow team. Oh, no. what a trip! Oof! That, that was that was decisive. Took him straight down, no mess with yeah. him. Yeah, the weight of that body in that armour as well, it just slammed to the ground. I'm going to have to check the pitch afterwards, make sure it hasn't been uh, cracked. Well, this is okay, a, I so assume it's still under, under guarantee anyway, isn't it? 
yeah you'd hope so yeah yeah so we've got that cage uh, as i as i suspected in the middle of the pitch now with the ball in it yeah and rats are being taken down yes what i'm amazed that we still haven't seen any broken armors on these rats i mean they're only apart from the gutter runners and the rat ogre they're all av7 yeah so, you yeah know, roll an eight or more you break straight through that's a one in six no no what am i talking about it's a Oh, my maths is terrible. A one in three chance of breaking through their armour, isn't it? Or is it better than that? Uh, well, whatever whatever the chance is, a chance is just a chance, isn't it? And even if you break through the armour, there's no guarantees of actual injury. Um, my 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 way of playing is simply to keep attacking, you know? Keep, keep breaking that armour as often as you can. Eventually, you're going to get lucky and, and do some real damage. <laughs> He's roaring again. But at least you have knocked out one of the Skavens. That's, that's only ten left on the pitch. Yes, yes. And it's nice to see them all clustered and stuck over there on the left-hand side. Or well, the left-hand side as I'm looking at it anyway. Um, the question is, can I actually keep them there? Well, oh, yeah. there's an extra one on the right. I hadn't spotted him. Oh, the little oh, guy golly. Running. Yeah, oh, this, okay. this is the thing. They just swarm around the pitch so fast. Yeah, they really do. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. Now... Why was this match rearranged for the morning? Have you got some special event happening for you this afternoon? Well, not for me, for my mother. She's uh, she's taken a fifth husband uh, and, oh. and they're walking up the aisle. Uh, well, not as we speak, but very soon. Um, I obviously have other commitments. I'm going to be you know, here commentating for the next hour, but uh, I will at least be able to make it for the feast afterwards. So, yeah, yeah, oh, well, I, 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 I had to make a straight to choice. You know, do we thank you? Do we do we have to you know have the match in the afternoon when the feast is? I mean, I don't really want to miss a feast. She's already had four husbands. I've been to every one of those. You know, they're still kicking around the place, obviously, if they're you know, doing the housework and whatnot. But I don't really, I don't really like this fifth guy. So yeah, st stuff so the you, wedding. You might I, not be calling him dad. Well, yeah, pa maybe pa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've actually got some movement now from the Minotaur. Yeah, he's finally got himself in the game. He's stopped that roaring and he's joining them in. This is this is what <laughs> we like to see. Smash. Funny thing with the Minotaurs, they're not often massively effective in what they do, but their very presence seems to have uh, an effect on the opposition in terms of, you know, if they're guarding, if they're just nearby, they seem to just make people want to steer clear. Have you seen how big he is? I would. Yeah. <laughs> See, you, you wouldn't want to get too close. I mean, those horns alone, each, each one of them is as big as my arm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you think he's looking big from your perspective. Think about it from my perspective as a halfling. He's oh, enormous. Is, absolutely. I bet you're glad you have three men on halfling teams rather than minotaurs. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, we've got another power coming in. This is turning that's into quite a little melee in the middle of the pit. Yeah, it really is. But that's cracked the side of my guard there. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about that ball carrier now. Absolutely. I mean, he's starting to... He's really starting to edge in towards you. Mm. Yeah, let's <laughs> see what we can do about that. Now, the thing is, though, you're getting these Skaven into a position they really don't like playing. I mean, no... Oh, no! Llewellyn! Constantly injured, constantly knocked out, constantly sent off. He is oh. such a rubbish player. <laughs> oh, and there I you go, the Storm Vermin's gonna... benefiting from his block skill again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, tough little gets there. Okay, we're heading into turn four now. Dogs of War to play. Where on earth are we going to go? I feel just boxed in here. Look at all those Skaven around me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at least you've now been able to stand up a few of your players, but you, you've got to punch a hole somewhere. Mm. And it looks like the Minotaur is taking that on himself. Yeah, he's taking down the thrower. He's punching. Come on, bring him to the ground. Liberate he's got frenzy him. to make a hole. Now, here's oh, the question. Nice. Can I get the ball through that hole? Oh, you'd risk a dodge, wouldn't you? So, I don't mm. know. I, it might be worth a gamble, I think. Okay, well, we're shifting some players into position first. So if the ball does come loose, potentially we've got more people who can either catch the ball or just make things harder for the Skaven to catch the ball. Oh, we've got Oh, good job you had a re-roll there. That was a yeah, lot closer. Totally. 
Yeah. I really don't know how you cope in your ogre team having no rerolls. It seems insane to me. Well, part of the problem is, I mean, you've got to remember the rerolls, they're, they're almost useless for the ogres. They only, oh dear, a double skull straight away for the Skaven. Um, yeah, with with uh, ogres, it's like, can I just ask, why has your ball carrier not moved? The rest of the team formed a cage over there, and he hasn't yeah. joined them. I, I think the intention was, and then it all just went bad. Oh, just, dear. Oh, now I'm going to have to dodge just to get out of there. Oh, and the Blitz is coming in. And embarrassment. You're being blitzed oh, by a drink dear. two gutter runner. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that Robin has gone and pushed him that way. I mean, if it had pushed him into the open, it would have potentially made it much easier for him to get hold of the ball. Mm. <laughs> in fact, that ball is, is really badly positioned. It's now surrounded by some of your players. Oh, it's got oh, even oh, worse oh, for him. Oh, nice. Oh, dear. Okay, the ball is moving again. Each cheap three knocked out, landing on the ball, which of course is now going to bounce somewhere else. Am I right in thinking that East Cheap 3 has literally been knocked out in every single match he's played this season? Yeah, I believe so. Between him and Flu uh, Fluellen, oh, it's, it's, it's not gone well. Oh no. Yeah. I'm stunned. No, no, it was the Skaven who was stunned. You were knocked out. Uh, okay. Both yeah. down. Ooh. Okay, I'm not much liking that rat ogre being so close to the ball. He's got uh, the prehensile tail, of course, which means even if I manage to dodge in and grab the ball, the chances of me getting away are much reduced. But you do have the Minotaur there, and the Minotaur has horns, so that makes him strength six when he blitzes. I mean, that, mm. that's one where Minotaurs absolutely excel at taking down other big guys. Here it comes. Oh, fantastic. This is what we like to see. Just big a going, push, big but the frenzy out. gives him another go. Yes. He's down. Yep, I'm pushing him as far away from that ball as you can. Smack. Now, of course, your Minotaur could even get um, mutations as well, could he not? Uh, yeah, potentially, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, he's dropped it. Come on, yeah, lad. Yeah, it's all of my players. Oh, we've got oh, another drop. Fumble. How disappointing. That was my two-headed uh, Chaos Warrior. Of course, if he'd got the ball with his third arm, which you'd expect, uh, he'd be in a good position to dodge as well as to sort of carry that ball. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Nuffle, Nuffle frowns upon me today by the looks Nuffle of it. Nuffle gives and Nuffle takes. Uh, to be fair, in this game, he's not really giving. He's making Ooh. this hard on both of you. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny okay. how that happens. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter how many squeaks you sacrifice, there are just those games where every single piece of luck goes against you. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Oh, we got a three dice block here. Oh, this Minotaur is really enjoying himself now. He's he's just causing utter chaos and, and devastation around the field. Where's and he go? I thought he was after the ball for ball. a second there. No, I think he's just guarding those two Skaven who are laying down next to the ball. Hey, okay. He's got the ball. He's, he's running yeah. home. Canterbury, my three-armed beast man. He's a very reliable player, I have to say. Of course, the problem you find is once you have a player that's really good at handling the ball, like Canterbury mm. is, more often than not, they're the ones that end up having to pick up the slack and score. And so they actually race away from the other players because they end up with so many more star player points. Yeah, yeah. And of course, that makes them more of a target to the opposition who are thinking to uh, to cripple the team. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'd yeah, well, this was this is why I went for the uh, extra arm mutation for the Chaos Warrior as well, was to give me an alternative to Canterbury if he did get picked on. This is it. I mean, they're slightly slower, the Chaos Warriors, but a mm. lot stronger. And Absolutely. yeah, with the two heads as well, he's also really good at dodging. Mm. Okay, so a Skaven player has managed to get into a tackle zone with Canterbury. <laughs> did you see Failed that? Failed dodge. Yeah, I, I can't see how him walking again very. He was it, it was really like true. having to dodge away from a tree trunk thrust out at you from yeah. that Minotaur's foot hitting him. Uh, and of course, the Minotaur Skaven is still to dodge enjoying from himself. The Minotaur. Yeah, that's freed him up. He's been able to do a fantastic blitz there. Frenzy and taking down. <laughs> okay, it's only a dodge, but look, here comes Canterbury now with the first touchdown. You're winning. You are actually winning a match. <laughs> Will today be the day though? that you finally break that uh, drawing streak? I mean, it's got to be, surely. Look at the savagery on his face. I mean, let's oh. be honest, at, th at this point, I, I think you'd have been happy even for a loss, wouldn't you? Just so it's not yet another draw. No, no, a draw is better <laughs> than a loss. But God, I want a win. Come oh. on now. Come on, boys. Well, you're, you're down one player. Have any of yours woken up? 
Ooh, only one has woken, but you've only got what one or two turns left. I I didn't check the turn counter before we uh, <laughs> before we had a look in the dugout. Yeah, let's have a look. It's going to come up on the screen now. So we are on turn. Well, I'm on turn eight. Jesus Robin's turn on seven. turn seven. Now, most teams that yeah. wouldn't actually be a, a concern because obviously, yeah, they're not going to score in two turns. Skaven, not so much. Mm, yeah, Skaven can do that two-turn touchdown, can't they? Well, especially with his movement uh, 10, Gutter mm. Runner. Yeah, so you'll notice of, uh, my team seems to be a little bit looser on this occasion now. Mm. And that's trying to make it harder for those Skaven to run through. This is it. And also having the Minotaur on the one side would probably make him move towards the side that, yes, you can see he is setting up on the mm. side without the Minotaur. Yeah. yeah, it's just a big old chicken, isn't he? <laughs> you can understand why. I mean, I'm guessing Robin here is hoping to push through very quickly, get the ball, hand it off, or throw it straight to a gutter runner and get it down that pitch. Now, of course, yeah. if you're if you're in this situation, it's vital you move at least one or two of the gutter runners within range of, of uh, the end zone, just in case the first pick up or hand off does not work. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Ah, ah perfect now this percent. is perfect for you. <laughs> So whatever he's done, I can now counter that, and there's nothing he can do about it. Now, of course, it's worth pointing out that perfect defence under the 2020 rules, when we start playing that, it's mm. very different. Instead of being allowed to re re move every one of your players, you can mm. only move players that are not in contact with the opposition, and you're only allowed okay. die three plus three to be moved. I have to ask, oh, I see, the ball's over that side. I can see where you're doing it. Yeah charge down the pitch isn't it straight at the ball carrier well, straight at the ball anyway oh dear he's <laughs> he had to use a reroll there for his rat ogre because he got us both down yeah now what i hadn't noticed was that that rat ogre has got the guard skill mm. yeah uh, which makes him e even more important to either get people away from him or take him down yeah, it's actually really useful though to get the guard skill onto a big guy because it will allow you to actually plow right into the middle of a group of opposition players and then suddenly <laughs> it's like having a player given the system with every single one of them. Yeah, yeah, oh, the downside being of course. Oof, very nice. And he's already the, used his reroll. Yeah. Uh, the downside being of course that if a player with the guard skill uh, boneheads, presumably that stops being active. Yes, if it's a bonehead, but I think with Wild Animal it can still work. Mm, okay. Because he can just stand there and roar, but he can still roar and hit people. Oh, and an injury on the final turn of the of this half. Very nice. Just a bad, badly hurt, so I he'll be so, back. Yep. yep, checking. It's a badly hurt, so off his teacher. Yeah, he'll be back for uh, for next for the I'm, next game. I'm wondering if your Chaos Warrior there had a bad time at school. Because he, he looks to be really <laughs> taking it out on him. Yeah, <laughs> there was definitely beef there. There was. And Olive is KO'd. I do feel sorry for your Minotaur though. I mean, he, he's got the mighty blow. He keeps knocking players down. He keeps breaking armours. And yet he's yeah. got so few star player points. He just cannot cannot sort of elevate it from a, a knocked out to an injury. Yeah, well, let's let's see what happens if he can uh, if he can pick up a mutation. Because um, I've got I've got I've got thoughts and plans for how he might develop as a as a player, uh, and what could help him build up, should we say, an engine of star player points for the future. So, are you tempted to carry on with this team in the next um, next competition where we're actually playing with with our past teams? One hundred percent, one hundred percent. The chaos team is is most interested, uh, most interesting when it is developed, and and you know a team that can take mutations pretty much any time they get an advancement is one that I want to be playing. I want to have just the most disgustingly mutated, savage and, and horrific looking nice. team out there. I'd say so, yeah, no, I'm just, definitely bringing just them back. Point out the East Cheap Three is excelling himself. He's been knocked out twice now for this one for <laughs> one match. You know, you, you've got to have cannon fodder, or the equivalent of cannon fodder, and the East Cheap Three and Flew they are my stand up first choices every time to just be on that touchdown line and get the shit kicked out of them. They certainly <laughs> seem to be. 
I mean, they're still alive, so they must, you know, must have some sort Ooh, of. Oh, now this this doesn't look so good for you. You've got three players out, so you're down to just eight, and he's on. Oh, he's still got two. So he's on nine players, so it's not not too one-sided. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's certainly playable. Um, it's certainly doable. But yeah, I think. Am I right now? I'll be kicking to him. Yes, yeah. So this is where it gets um, uh, really risky. Well, yeah. So that. here at the start of the second half, it's it is slightly brown trousers time. Absolutely. I mean, what's he got? He's still got three gutter runners available. Uh, he's got both of his storm booming on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. it's it's uh, it could be could be nasty. And of course, his thrower has the big hand skill, so that makes it even easier for him to pick up the ball. Mm. You know, if, it, if it's <laughs> raining, it's if it's uh, surrounded by other players, he just ignores that. Mm. An extra okay, reroll, extra though, reroll. Very useful. Yep, <clears throat> yep, handy for me. There goes the head of that uh, referee who disagreed with your minotaur. <laughs> well, you know, they, w they will learn eventually, one way or another. Oh, no. Oh, do you know, oh, for a second there, I injury. thought it was the rat ogre that had been injured. Yeah, no, no, that's one of mine again. Damn, that's another one off the pitch. So you're down to just seven players. That's uh, making it slightly tricky for you. Having said that, it, it the is. ball is still loose. Yeah, yeah. And actually, you know, I have played a game before where I was facing vastly overwhelming odds. Um, I think I only had five left on the pitch, uh, and I still managed to score a touchdown. Almost two, actually. Uh, it was pretty, pretty awesome. I don't know if you I remember that I can't think what game. game that is you're talking about. No, well, no, it's not, no, it's not, it's not, not last night, night no? Cool. No. Oh, no, okay. not at all. No, to be <laughs> fair, you, you're, you're lizard men against my... Uh, what was Ooh. I playing? Chaos. Just like yes. this. Yeah, yeah. your lizard men against... They they were so close to winning 2-0. Mm. <laughs> and I managed yeah, to finally it. clinch a, a tiebreaker on the very last turn of the match. That was horrible. Because what do we expect from me at the moment? It's nothing but draws. <laughs> this is true. And I'm, I'm led to believe that you've also had another match since that you also drew, did you not? Yes, yes. And that was against Skaven. That was in practice uh, for this match. Uh, managed to get two. But uh, so did they. So yeah, it's it's really frustrating times for Camp Double D at the moment. God, he's going for that Chaos Warrior. Look at that. Yes, and the, the irony is he's actually blocking him with a gutter runner, strength two yeah, gutter yeah, yeah. runner. But look, you know these are the Bash Street kids, uh, Rat Street kids rather. You know they're supposed to be sort of a school mentality, and that's a clear case of bullying. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Where's the teacher? That's what I want to know. Uh, they're injured, actually. Uh, yeah, that would yeah. be it. Yeah, your mind all took him out. Yeah, well, while well, the teacher's away uh, at play. Oh, God, I can't even speak. While well, the teacher's away, the kids will the play. Rat Street kids will play, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, it looks, like, looks like your coach is bringing a, the other players slightly more into it, but the thing is, that ball is now in the hands of the Skaven. Yeah, and the Skaven thrower as well. Oh, no. Mm. Oof. I th that was some okay, really frenzy. bad rolls. Oh no, that was the frenzy, yeah. Yeah, two skulls and a push with the reroll. Oh, and I have not got a tackle zone on that ball. Ah, oh, now okay, you have. Okay. This is, this is looking a lot guy. safer. So you've got a reasonable defence in the back of the field. You've got the ball is covered. Oh, and he's tripped! <laughs> okay, he is this using the reroll. This could be. Oh, oh. Damn it. Now, if he'd have gone down, that could have been decisive. Is he yeah, going to hand that off? Been a second, I'm sure. Oh, the, the movement 10 gutter runner now has the ball. Yeah, this is this is not what I wanted to be seeing. No, no, I mean, that that ball could suddenly <laughs> disappear and get right past you all. Oh, he's rolled a skull. He's, <laughs> no, and he's knocked himself out. I love it. There goes Danny. Oh, dear. Now, that's not very good for it, because... Uh, well, having said that, it's not going to be easy for you to get in there and take the ball out because he is surrounded by no. a thrower and a storm vermin. But that yeah. rat ogre is still lying on the ground. What's he doing? Is he, is he having a sleep? No, he, he tried to get up last time with just wild animal. I don't know if you saw, he was just throwing and flailing his fists, his feet and his tail around and just was it, was yelling it how unfair it all is. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I thought it might be. <laughs> okay, so we've got the blitz coming, but not against the ball carrier. We're no. just trying to box him in by the looks of it. That's a that's a risky strategy. I haven't said that. Skaven aren't the best at dodging, yeah. although their gutter runners do at least have agility four, but they don't. No, they do have the dodge skill too. Don't they? So they are. I'm I'm thinking of uh, humans, am I not? 
Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's it's a tough thing with Skaven, you know, because there's a part of you that just wants to really get in and crush them, you know, as we discussed before. But if they can keep their feet or if they can break away and you've just piled he's everybody in one again. space. Oh my god, yeah, here we go, see? So he's managed to break away and that's not all breaking of away. my that's, players that's running miles away. Yeah. But all of my players are stuck there. What the hell am I supposed to do? I know. I mean he is he's Oh, that's what he's supposed to do. Okay, failed dodge there. Good stamp by the old Minotaur. But can I get to him? That's the question. You do have one Chaos Warrior in reserve, so at least that gives you a little bit of defence. Yeah, well, it's somebody to put there, but... Uh, yeah, look, that's yeah, it. Yeah, good yeah, lad, that's good wise, lad. Wise move, but he may have moved too far over, because again, he could then suddenly shoot to the other side of the... Oh no, you you had a wild animal instant from your own uh, Minotaur. Yeah. Keeps happening, it keeps happening. Oh. He's just too savage for his own good. He really is. Okay, so. so yeah, we're shifting across now. And back down the pitch as well, because of course the players are aware of how swiftly those Skaven are going to move. There's no point just running towards where they are now. You've got to think about where they're going to be at the end mm. of their next move. Ah, that's useful, actually using your... Mo yeah, a blitz there, so then you can also bring him across to add a bit more bit more pressure onto the ball carrier and at least he stunned the thrower. Excellent. Not much movement there but at least some. He does have three players with him though. Oh, no, two, yeah. two players, two players. So yeah he's not going to be that good at defending. If you can get no. one single block on him I think you could take him down. Yeah potentially, potentially. I mean I'm liking the fact that I've got three players in reserve now down there and that's sort of slightly <laughs> spread across the pitch as well to discourage him trying to Nip around. Oh, another one of yours has been knocked out. You are running out of players. Yeah, that's my guy who was a journeyman last game, I think, um, but got so many skill points it was worth buying him to bring him on. Yeah, didn't he get the MVP? He just performed he did, so yeah. well. Yeah, I think he ended up with five skill points, just one away from an advancement. Oof. Oh, that, that Spotty is run. stunned. That, um, he's, uh, I think Spotty was the one who had the terrible trip just a turn ago. Yeah. Right, so what are we going to have? The, the Rat Ogre is now up, which is a bit frustrating. Yeah, but look, I've got I've got three people who I can bring to bear on the two with the ball. Can you actually get a block onto the ball, though? That's the question. We've got a Blitz coming in. Is it? Yeah, I think it's coming round. Come on, if you get him down... You... Oh, oh, come no. on, double... No! OK, both down, both that's, down. So that's better, yeah, that's... And he's stunned. Yeah, ball's loose. And that ball has bounced back up. I think yeah, this is looking just really a bit good defence. To be honest, but uh, yeah, yeah, not too bad. It does now mean there is a whole okay. side of the pitch that no longer has any defenders in it. If he's able yeah. to get that ball and run, shoot, he could. Shoot, 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 shoot. Is he going to risk the astro granite and sprint? Oh, he is. God, he is. What? Is he going to do it again? I'm no. holding my breath in case he fell. He didn't. He didn't take a second risk. Although the Ratsuit kids do still have uh, active active rerolls. This is not looking as good. Oh, no. It's not. My my players who were close by, they are both Chaos Warriors, which means they have not got much in the way of movement. No, movement five. How on earth can you... you you're going to have to try uh, a very risky dodge, or... And I don't know what you can do here. Neither do I. Okay, the blitz oh. has gone there, so it looks as though all you're looking for is is uh, to get players in base contact with him. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes that's all you can do is just reduce the chances of your opposition if you're just not in a position to actually, you know, get to the ball carrier. Yeah, I mean, but he has the dodge skill. He's got the agility of... Uh... Yeah, but look at this. Right round, right. Oh, no, I should have gone an extra one. Yes, uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, Although, hang on, we've no, got no, this guy. No, no, you've got someone coming in there, so it now means he's going to have to dodge into tackle zones. Yeah, and then out, so multiple dodges. Okay, no, not this as... This a really tense match. This is some yeah, great plays does. from both of you. It's not quite as tight a net as I would like around him, but I'm feeling fairly confident he can't get through. He's now opened the side up, so he can actually... I think he can just run. If he one dodge, oh, and God, I think he can... Just, oh, no! He's taken that route! <laughs> Oh, that was some serious dodging. It's another draw! Told it's another draw! Well, you might, you might let yet lose. I mean, the Skaven, they're fast enough. You've got so few players. Unless yeah. a lot wake up. 
I'm sorry, they might be kicking to you, but I, I, my money at this point is the Skaven getting another touchdown before the end. There's still four turns to go. Was it three? <laughs> well, you, you've only had one player woke up, I'm afraid, whereas the Skaven had two of their three. So I think uh, you have a quick count, eight players on the pitch. The Skaven have nine players. So again, it's it's like it was that last drive. You are outnumbered, but only by one. This is, I, I would have thought at this point, Robin should have put his gutter runners far further forward than that. He's only got, he's only got one turn left. Oh, I miscounted on the turn. So no, it's a draw. I've just stopped caring. Unless he Sorry. gets a blitz, it's a draw. I've just stopped caring. <laughs> call my wife as well. Tell, tell her I won't be home tonight. No. I'm just going to kiss. Just are, you, are you supposed to be going to a, a certain event? Yeah, I'm going to go there. I'm going to eat everything I can eat. I'm going to drink make the everything I can drink. Brilliant. Make, make the most of the I, free bar. I, I plan not to wake up for three days. <laughs> Fair enough. I am just so sick of this. Draw! After draw! After draw! Well, maybe you can get a bit of defence coming in here. You know... <laughs> Yeah, take yeah. take it out on a on a scaven on two before yeah. the end of this match. You've got two turns yet to cause a death. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Chaos teams, they all they really care about is injuries and death. You're lucky that this chaos yeah. team of yours seems good enough to actually understand they do need the ball sometimes. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. I, I I should be a little bit more graceful in in not even in defeat in in just being constantly stalled. Yep. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Oh, that Minosaur, I, I've been so hopeful that he's just going to get his final final star player point he needs. Yeah, we can have a throw. We got a throw. No, hang no, on. No, re roll, really re roll. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it's dear. not a throw. No. <laughs> well, when you've got an extra arm, it does get confusing as to what's doing what. Yeah, I mean, your Minosaur's still stuck on four star player points. I just want to see a mutated Minosaur. Maybe yeah, have giant time. tentacles or extra long tail. I don't know, just something. Claws, claws on the Minotaur. Oh, could you imagine how dangerous that would be against the big guys? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, plus one with the charge for the horns that he's already got. Plus and then minus another two one on the to the armour value. And yep, then yep, yep. mighty blow as well to reduce it either mm. by another. So, yeah, potentially three reduction on the armour value if they're, if they're yeah. AV9. So it takes the armour down to seven. Takes it down yeah. to six if it needs to use the mighty blow. If it doesn't need the mighty blow for the armour, then that's plus one to injury. That would be a indeed. lethal player. Yeah, yeah, and you you have indeed stumbled upon what my plan is for his mutation. Ah. Should he get his uh, additional points? Yeah, yeah. That Claude Minor would be really I, wicked. And I think that Ratoga would have literally been torn apart if he was <laughs> playing against Claude Minor for mm -hmm. this game. Is he going for a throw? Yes. And what was that? It was it was supposed <laughs> to be a pass. It was supposed to be a handoff. Is what that was supposed to be. Oh. He could have potentially scored. I know, I know. Oh, well, draw, one I'm... all. One all at Agincourt. Look, it gets to a point sometimes when you just, you can see what's going to happen and you know it's going to happen. I do need to point out. It just happens. Your um, <laughs> your journeyman beastman has again been given the MVP, so you might uh. be forced to hire another journeyman. <laughs> One touchdown, okay. 12 armor, only 12 armor breaks. That's incredible against Skaven. Absolutely yeah. incredible. Look yeah. at the ball possession. It, neck and the neck. The first half looked just so wonderful. It did. 38 blocks and uh, so few armor breaks. Oh. I, uh, my, my, yeah. nose, my nose is just here. If you'd like to just rub it in there just a little bit more. Oh, I, I fully intend here to. Here we go. You yeah, have, I'm, you I'm have got a decent amount now. of um, star player points, but... Just that, yeah. that Minotaur. I just wanted to see him get clawed. Wait a oh. minute. No, I didn't. You're playing me next. That's right. That's right. And what <laughs> I did definitely I want? didn't I want to see him get that. To get his claws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd tear my I mean, against Ogres, that would have been lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, but there we no. Go. No, definitely not. Mm. That's a really so, yeah. low wake up. Look at that. Only a 33% wake up from your knocks out. Yeah. No wonder you, and how you much were low on players. Yeah, how much of a difference would it have made if I did have a couple of three extra players on there? Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I don't think <sighs> he would have scored. Yeah. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, eh? But well played to both Robin and yourself. I mean, that that was a really interesting game. So, it it means, though, you are still... <laughs> you still haven't lost a game. 
No, am I, am I no, right, there's, am I there's right there's that every now. team has now lost a game except you? Oh, I hope so. That, that would make me feel a little bit better inside. I, to, I will to need known to as check the stats. Double D, the, the undefeatable. Yeah, yeah, mm, absolutely. You can be the undefeated. Yeah. yeah. No, undefeatable. Nobody can beat me. Okay. Yeah, you just can't beat anyone like yourself. <laughs> I just can't beat anybody else no. either. <laughs> well, that, oh, that wow. was an interesting game. So, yeah, now that, that's the end of round four. So, yes. we're moving on to round five, the final round of the Royal Rumble. Yes, and and there there is genuinely everything to play for for some of the teams. Um, not not you, not me, but uh, I think everybody else is in with a chance of either winning or coming a comfortable second. I have is that right? just checked with the results yeah, of yeah. this game in just now. It means we now have JP's uh, team are now currently just ahead at the top of the league. Next, the Tiny Rocks too, yeah. The Tiny Rocks too. Uh, then we have the New More Gets are in second place. Mm -hmm. um, and then the and Robin yeah. Bloodaxe, our newest, our newest coach, he is in third place. All three of those have, could potentially win the league. Right, right, right. Wow, this is complicated. Yeah, so Robin, if he wins and JP loses, then mm. Robin's team will win on touchdown difference. Oh, okay. God, if the New More Gets win and... JP draws or loses, then Newmark gets win. And if JP wins overall or draws, and oh, it's so complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll we'll, we'll dig into that a little bit deeper for the next match, shall we? Who, who is playing the next match? Uh, it's it's a uh, uh, it's the playoff between. It's the Newmark gets against the Rat Street Kids. Okay. This will okay, be a vital well. match. It really will. So, uh, well, look, thank you for uh, for commentating with me again today, Toll, and uh, thank you all for tuning in. We will see you very soon with round one of... Uh, no. Match one. Let's say that round again. Five. Match one <laughs> of rat, uh, rat Five. Of Rat Five? Yeah, yeah why not? I, I've clearly just had too much of this ale here. Uh, why don't you take us out, Toll? Okay. Yeah, we will soon be joining you for round... You made me say the same now. Match one, round five. The Rat Street Kids versus the New Mort Gets. And that is going to be a decisive match. Whoever wins that or draws that, it's going to massively affect the overall competition. So, yeah, we could be on a competition where it will go down to the very final match which I Indeed. think is um, the Tiny Rocks 2 against the Lunchbox Layabouts. And then, of course, yes. we have our own match, is match 2 in round 5. Yes, the, the, the comedy, the comedy uh, filling in this exciting sandwich of, uh, of slaughter. Uh, well, so, yes, please. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I, I'm actually placing a bet on you beating my ogres. Oh, <laughs> but, it, it, it would make a nice change, wouldn't it, to, to actually, you know, have a win. Yeah, I think I think the odds are with you there. I mean, the ogres have, uh, the, yeah, they're they're not great at winning. I mean, yeah, I was lucky. I did manage to beat the tiny. Well, sorry, I did manage to draw against tiny rocks too, which is a win in my mind. But yeah, uh, yeah call it yeah. that. Call okay. it that. Whatever makes you feel good. But yes, join us, please, for the next match, the next round uh, here on Smash and Grab TV. Goodbye. Until all. then, goodbye. <laughs>